So, time to take a look at the new tier 4 special premium platoon, the Tiger P. Now, the Tiger P is quite a very big tank, a bit larger than usual Tiger, has extra added frontal protection, 200 mm of frontal armor, and this tank has two engines, uh, which I find quite interesting. Has a 88 mm main gun, this is fairly fast, 21 counter power is the top speed, very good reverse speed of 29 counter power, again has like two engines, which do help a lot with speed. It weights 60 tons, 5 km, average penetration 165 mm, reload is 7.4 seconds, and the armor is, as I already mentioned, really, really good. Now, the weak spot is basically the sloped edges of the frontal armor, that's where the armor is the thinnest. And this is kind of weird because with this vehicle you can't really do the classic angle thing, right? You have to cover those angled uh, weak spots that you have on both sides. But the frontal armor is definitely very tough. Enhanced uh, armor on the Tiger and the extra maneuverability is decent. The turret armor is also uh, fairly good. But you have some uh, guns with high penetrating power like the Nash Horn gun, for example, that can punch through the turrets or anywhere from the front. So. This vehicle does like to snap and it's definitely a very good uh, tank for a hold down position but uh, for the most part you have to be careful to protect those sloped weak spots that you have from the front. You can angle but when you angle you have to hide those weak spots. If you do manage to, to do that this is a very very tough to break tank but let's play some games with it and let's see how the Tiger P will, will work. Now my favorite thing about this vehicle is the speed, the reverse speed is really good. I think this is the, the Tiger with the best reverse speed. Again it has two engines, so not really surprised by the agility and speed. If it had more, more gears I'm fairly sure this could easily hit over 60 km per hour. After all, two engines give a lot of horsepower. And for a start, uh, that's a Ostwind. When you face enemies uh, from the front, it's good that you face them uh, without those weak spots showing. Now the thing that uh, I also forgot to mention is the turret rotation speed. The turret rotation speed is definitely not the best. This turret is moving very, very slowly. Definitely one of the slower turret rotations on uh, on tiger tanks that I have seen. Uh, so usually when I have to aim at something I rotate the hole with it. Since again the turret rotation speed is really poor on the Tiger P. And there is a Nash horn. No well, for Nash horns I recommend that you use high explosive. And as I said before, uh, the Nash horn can easily penetrate the frontal armor on this vehicle. So I have to go back in cover, but yeah, uh, I have to also wait for the turret to be repaired. High explosive, or in this case I have heat. You do have heat and you have explosive APC, BC, ammo, both are okay, uh, but I would still prefer to use AP ammo. Explosive AP ammo should be the best ammo that you can have on the on the tiger. Actually I will replace the heat with high explosive down the road. Just because I don't really trust heat ammo that much. I mean we all don't trust heat that much, I would say. But the classic a explosive APC BC does get the job really well. It's a very powerful gun on the Tiger P, so not a big not a big deal at all. And the reverse gear is also there to pull you out of trouble. That's a big gun. Big tank destroyer gun. Oops. I was able to put a good shell into it and destroy it. Now let's see where where 
can I go next? Well, this position is decent for a tiger, but uh, the turret rotation, the turret rotation speed is making it a bit more uncomfortable to to use. Even though, uh, I mean, the, I think the turret rotation speed on the normal tiger is like twice as fast as this. I think. I guess there has to be some form of balancing since this has a very tough frontal armor. Very tough frontal armor. Still can get penetrated though, uh, since the frontal upper plate still has a lot of armor, but it's it's flat. It's not angled. So any gun with over 200 mm of penetration should be able to just easily punch through it. Uh, not necessarily a big problem, but. Just something to you know keep in mind when using this tank. And let's see if I can drop some bombs. I definitely can, but how successful will that be? That is the question. I also love how they added like the new options flaps and and you can land. It would be funny to see how that will work and yeah, that will be very 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 interesting to see how that will work let me try a smooth landing here in a second the air mode is definitely not that far off can cannot wait for it actually ouch that's not how i imagined how i would land and yeah eat it oh my god that's the worst landing ever Oh well, let's go forward. We are holding all the zones, all the bases, basically. So... Let's see if we manage to... Let's see if we manage to get at least one more kill, although I don't really think that's going to happen at this moment. I got 5 kills, not bad. I do like how the Tiger P looks, it does have a very nice hold design, that's for sure. It's a pretty tank to look at, that's, that's the thing. Okay, here we are, in the... In the zone. How did that not kill it? I don't know. It's explosive ammo, should have killed it. And heat did not penetrate, that's why I don't use heat, it's very unreliable. Should have been APC VC, but okay, I guess it's fine. We we won the match. Not bad. Not bad for a first for a first battle with the Tiger P. Okay, let's go to the next one. And uh, I'll go spawn at usual my at, at my usual spot. Well, the good thing is, as I mentioned before, this is surprisingly a fast vehicle, or should I say, not surprisingly, since it has like two engines, two engines do that if you have a lot of horsepower and you have a lot of speed so I can easily get to my favorite position which is right over here but maybe I'm not going to be able to get to my position because someone else beat me to it and that's the enemy team we have a panther okay where should I that's uh that's the more armored panther I'll just try to shoot the turret it did not go where I wanted to go. Okay, they bounced. Let's fall back. This time I will shoot at the gun. And now I can have as much time as they want to shoot at the weak spots. Basically you shoot at the panther in the in the gun mantle. Right and left from the gun. There we go. So the crew has been killed. There is a Hetzer right in front of me. The lower plate had to destroy it. Back to the Panther. 
panther is still somewhere over there. I hit the gun, okay. Half of the crew of the panther is just gets killed, so... Let's, uh... What happened to it? Killed the driver. How did that not detonate the ammo? I have no idea. But it didn't. We have a tiger. Hit the weak spot. Failed to detonate the ammo, but it did some internal damage. Well, I'm definitely not in a good position now. I'm uh, basically surrounded by tanks. The tiger will have to be the primary target, I guess, since it's closest. The panther fall back, or the panther is destroyed. Where is the tiger? That's uh, the M41. Let me shoot the track so I can buy myself some time with the tiger. Oh, hello there. Tiger bounced. I bounced as well. That's lovely. Let's angle a little bit. Angle, angle. And crew knocked out. There we go. M41 is playing with fire there. Uh, they did repair the tracks very quickly. There's the panther. Shot the panther in the turret again. Did kill some crew members as well. And there we go, finally. The panther ran out of crew members and the panther is destroyed. Well, not exactly the way I imagined that this match would go, but I'm not going to complain. Still a solid battle so far. I think the M41 is going to try to rush me, so I can get in position. Thankfully the reverse the reverse speed on this thing is decent. There we go. And now let's see. Let me let me see if they will go around the corner. Come on, just a little bit. There we go. I told you they would do that. And the M41 has been destroyed. Let's go and attempt to capture the base. I know, super, super late on capturing the base, but I was kind of busy with 50 tanks. They ru they really rushed, and I was able to I was able to defend my position. If you angle the Tiger P, you can actually bounce a lot of shells. I mean, 200 millimeters of armor angled is quite something. Ah, uh, Hetzer again. First hit did barely any damage. Okay. Let's try this again. Lower plate. Yeah, that did more damage. And let's see, one more shot at the lower plate should destroy the Hetzer. There we go. That was a nice hit. Uh, tiger, this time very good, very good hit in the upper plate, and was uh, enough to destroy the tiger. The tiger P is definitely the superior tiger when it comes to firepower and armor. Although they have the same gun, but same gun, but this thing has much more armor. And one tank sort of also destroyed capturing the zone and this was definitely a decent match honestly definitely a decent match not going to complain definitely a good victory going to be a good vi good victory from if i manage to capture the zone here but i think the enemy ran out of tanks so yeah i'll take it well that was a good match a uh, good match for sure the Tiger P is definitely a very fun tank to use. A uh, very, very fun tank to use. And well, with that, be that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.